going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Criterion Corner. This is the segment on my channel where I pick a film in the Criterion Collection and just recommend it to you. And today's film is one that has come to the collection more recently. And this was a film that when I discovered that it was coming to the Criterion Collection, I got very excited because I always love when Criterion picks up really strange or unique films that are kind of out of the box. And the film I'm going to be talking about today is the John Waters classic, Pink Flamingo. Pink Flamingos is directed by John Waters, notorious Baltimore criminal and underground figure divine. He goes up against Connie and Raymond Marble, a sleazy married couple who make a passionate attempt to humiliate her and seize her tabloid given title as the filthiest person alive. So that really is the plot of the movie. There really is not much more other than Divine has this title of the filthiest person alive and the marbles want to take that away from her. The marbles are running this really disgusting like underground operation where they kidnap these women and force them to give birth and sell them off to gay couples is what they say. Divine is living on this farm with her family members Cotton, Edie, and Crackers who are like the most most eccentric, disturbing group of people that you've ever seen in your entire life. And the film is the two families just kind of butting heads. And this movie is probably one of the most <laughs> disturbing pieces of film that I've ever seen. But I have the utmost and fondest respect for John Waters for creating this. And, and the reason being is John Waters being an openly gay person from as early as like the 1970s, you constantly feel like an outcast in your own skin. And for the longest period of time, gay people were really treated as just this disgusting, horrible group of people in a way that I feel like this is John Waters saying, I'm taking the power back and if you think we're gross and you think we're disgusting, we're going to take that title and embrace it and we're just going to throw it back in your face. And I think that this is such an empowering movie despite it being this over the top gross out comedy and it's shot on a super, super low budget. You can tell John Waters had like no money to make this thing and was just shooting it with his group of friends. I think Divine is absolutely brilliant in this movie. Her performance, the speech towards the end of the film where she's they say give us some of your political beliefs she says kill everyone now condone first degree murder that whole speech is like one of my favorite scenes in all of film history and there's so many amazing disgusting moments there's like a scene of this guy running through this public park where he like ties a sausage around his penis and is like sw like swinging it around there's the infamous butthole singing scene in this movie which is like one of the most ridiculous ridiculous things I've ever watched in all of film. There's a scene where Divine goes into like a butcher and she like acts like she's shoving shoving meat up into her vagina when she steals it from this butcher shop. And there's just so many scenes like that. There's obviously that really disgusting scene with crackers and the chickens, which is like embedded in my brain. There's a scene in this movie where Divine eats literal dog shit. They actually filmed her doing it on the side of the road. And so obviously it's just this ridiculous movie that is like taking every societal thing that people have said is gross, foul, disgusting. This movie looks at incest. This movie looks at bestiality. There's like all of these really over the top themes. And I really do believe that this is John Waters way of taking the power back and saying like society wants to perceive us in this way. We'll give it to them and we'll throw it right back in their face. And I think it's a brilliant film that really stands the test of time. And I think John Waters has such this incredible versatile catalog of films and this is one that just I saw this for film school I'd never seen it before and it was one of the movies recommended and I watched it and I just remember it being something completely cemented into my brain where like at first I didn't know what to feel about it when I watched it I knew I felt uncomfortable I knew it made me feel sick but I ended up appreciating it more and I think there is a lot of nuanced comedy in it on top of the really like disturbing gross out comedic moments that exist throughout the runtime of the film and I, I I love everybody's crazy accents. I love when John Waters does the the narration. It says, beautiful downtown Baltimore. It's like, everybody has a crazy accent in this. I love Mink Stoll's character as one of the marbles. She is absolutely absurd. She gives like this ridiculous performance. She has this quote that is so amazing that she's talking about someone being an asshole that is embedded in my brain as like one of the funniest moments in all of filmmaking. And it's just an absolutely absurd and funny 
fun movie, and I'm so glad that Criterion seems to be, like, expanding their palette even more for the types of film that they want to include in the collection, because this is a film that a lot of people probably just see as this, oh, it's this vile, disgusting, horrible thing, but it has such an importance and cultural relevance to filmmaking as a whole, and really, like I said, is an empowerment piece for the gay community, and John Waters making a statement as a whole, and, you know, on the complete inverse of that, it was announced recently that Andrew Stanton's Wally, -E, the Disney Pixar film, is going to be put in the Criterion Collection, and I know Uncut Gems was put in there recently from A24, and so it seems like they're reaching out more. I still want more horror films in their Criterion, so if you watch my videos, which I know you don't, but if you did, I want more horror films in the Criterion Collection, but I'm so glad to see that they're expanding their horizons, adding more into the catalog, and Pink Flamingos is amazing, and if you have not seen it, watch it, experience it, be grossed out by it. My Blu-ray came with a barf bag, which they gave out at the movie theaters, and I thought that was absolutely wonderful. So have you seen Pink Flamingos? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was absolutely hilarious. I think it's culturally significant, and if you have not seen it, it's such a fun film in the collection that you need to watch. As always, if you can like the video, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.